Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today, I am working on a file folder, okay? All I did was, first step I did is I took a regular size file folder from Dollar Tree, okay? And I cut it down, because I, I might want to put this in a journal cover and I might just leave this as the journal cover. I'm not sure yet. But all I did was I cut this off, and then I took this part and laid it here, on here because it would be straight and then I traced it and that's how I got the curves and I did the same thing on this side I just cut it off remember this would be straight and then I put it on here to get the curves I want to make sure you understand what I'm saying right that would have been straight so I just took this say that's one big piece I just took this and laid it there and traced it and then I cut it out okay I just cut this part out and the bottom out Okay, hopefully you got that, beautiful beings. You're, you're brilliant, so I'm sure you did. Okay, and then I have this. This is an eight and a half by 11 inch. This is what they originally look like. Okay, and I cut them down too. After I put them together, I'm gonna to show you how I did that, but I cut that off. But for this one, I want one more for this size, but if you don't wanna cut anything down, this would be a huge one. You can just do what I'm going to show you, how to put these two together and just put them together and these fit in here perfect, okay? They fit in here perfect. I'll show you after I do it, after I show you what we're doing. All right, so let me get started. Again, these are eight and a half by 11 colored cardstock. All you do is you take them and put them together like that sure they're aligned just right and then you take some masking tape make sure you're touching right on the edge and you go like that that's all you do with these things okay then you cut that off here, let's do it this side first, then we'll cut it off. Then do it again on this side. This way, if you don't have this size, if you don't have regular card stock, like the eight by, or the 10 by 10, or is it 11 by 11? They come in different sizes, but this is how you can make them bigger. And then just cut that off. of cardstock that you want or magazine whatever you want to use you can use comic strips whatever you want to use beautiful things and you glue that down and these prints are both I gotta cut this one but these both these prints are from the paper studio and you can get them at Hobby Lobby oh no they're 69 cents but I don't know if they raised them or not the price or not okay cuz I got these a long time ago Okay, so I'm going to cut this piece off too, and I'm just going to glue it here and here, this one on the other side, okay? But I want to show you that you don't have to cut these down. And you just take this and bend it where it's even. And that's why I like the masking tape. I got the masking tape from Dollar Tree too, and that's why I like it because it's really durable where you can bend it and if you don't want to cut them down this will fit nicely just in there like that okay so you can make even a bigger one and then you can put whatever you want on here and make this to cover because you would want to make this to cover unless you could find a box that's that big <laughs> you know to stick it in and make a cover for the box but you could just make a cover for this if you want okay so I'm going to glue this, cut this out, and glue this here and this on the other side, and I'll be back, beautiful beings. Okay, beautiful beings, I'm going to mark this to where I want to cut it. I'm going to mark it right here. OK, 
Okay. Got it marked right there. And I glued that down. And I glued that down. Now I'm gonna cut it. I got a bunch of stuff on the desk. Because <laughs> I started this video with the other stuff. With this and this and the other one. But and then I'm like, I need pockets. And I had some cards. <laughs> But I don't know what happened to them. I had some just regular cards you send people in the mail. And I lost them. I got them out. I got them all organized. And then I left them upstairs. And I'm like, well, they got to be upstairs. So I went upstairs. And I got them and I brought them down. And then Taryn and Chase came. And they stayed. And then they disappeared. After they left... I tried to find them again, <laughs> and I could not find them anywhere, so I don't know where those went. So now I got a total different plan for this. Let's see now, this fits in here like this, and it sticks out here and here. Okay, and this one I don't think sticks out. I got stuff everywhere because I got so much stuff I want to show you. This one I'll probably wrap around this one like that. But before I do that, I want to show you this. I'm getting my corner punch out. See, and these are shaped different. I'm just going to do that to all of them. Okay? To all the corners. Yeah. I looked everywhere for those cards. I put I put away my C journals. I put them all away. Got all this stuff for the C journals. Put everything away. And I'm like, I'm gonna need cards. I know I got some C card or some C cards. I know I got some fall cards. So let's use them up. My mom and my brother. I think my brother did because my mom always did. But she always paid for cards in the mail. I don't even know if they still do that, but she always paid for cards and got them in the mail. And then my brother did it, so I had a, I have a whole bunch of cards. So I just wanted to use some art, but that's upside down. Now I can't find them. Okay, so that's what that's going to look like once they're sewed in. Okay, this one's just a little longer. Right, but I wanted to show you this. I made this little pocket. All it is is junk mail, and I painted it white. Then I might have painted it antique beige, and then I just put a little bit of orange in, just splat it with a brush, and then I splatted some brown in there. And then I sewed it in because. I needed to sew that in before I put something here, and I don't know what I'm putting here yet. But the reason I made this is for this that we made in a different video, okay? And I'm not going to glue that down until we figure out what we're putting here, and I stencil this up. We're going to stencil that up. But I also have something else I want to show you. I got all kinds of stuff to show you. Where's the cover? This is a tablecloth, and I love it. I think it's beautiful colors, bright and vibrant colors. And I got it from Dollar Tree. Tablecloth, table cover. And as you can see, it's square, okay? Well, my table, my dining room table is round. So I just cut off the extra, okay, of this. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And my table looks really nice. <laughs> okay. So I cut it off, and then I cut. Okay, let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. I cut little pieces out of it. <laughs> so, if you're... have lack of embellishments, you can always use these for backdrops or embellishments. You can glue these on cardboard, colored cardboard in a backdrop or paint some junk mail. 
and just glue them on it and then use these for embellishments but I'm gonna use them for a backdrop and spots that I don't put the pockets this has two pumpkins one going that way one smaller than the other and one going the other way and I think they're adorable <laughs> okay then I got another idea for you I made these okay I made these leaves I didn't need to well I kind of did because I don't have I don't have a stencil this big for leaves or die cut so I'm going to show you how I made them this is a piece of tablecloth this is a leaf. It's a leaf in a tablecloth. I just cut it out. I'm gonna zoom it back up just so I you can see. Alright. And what I'm gonna do is take this and I'm gonna put the glue, but I'm gonna be sparingly. I'm gonna put the glue with the leaf parts. Just on the leaf. Okay. If you want, you can put more so you know it's glued down more. Or good. Then get whatever color cardstock or paper you want to use and glue it down. Like that. Because I did. <laughs> I did try to cut the leaf out and as you can see it ripped it's just too delicate too delicate it ripped on me so that's why I, I did it this way okay wipe my fingers there's no glue on the table and then you can take whatever color you want marker okay here's what I did I did a metallic marker there and I did a green glitter pen then I did I think a red marker it might have been this one and then on this one I think I, I'm not sure what color I did maybe I didn't do it on this one so if you like that white it's in there okay and then on this one I think I took an orange glitter pen it doesn't show up very good but it gives it a next level and then I'm going to zoom in again, make sure I don't move this, <laughs> and then just take your marker and go like this around the leaves and around the stem, and that's all I did. Okay, just to give it a little bit of color, just a hint of color. And then just wait for it to dry and cut them out and you got little embellishments like this okay beautiful beings <laughs> simple okay and you can if you can find cards that have stuff on it that you can cut out magazines just take the magazine cut it out and then glue it on here and if it's fragile okay beautiful beings my camera went totally blurry <laughs> what I was saying and if it's fragile just glue it onto something that you painted a piece of colored cardstock whatever you want and then cut it out and then you'll have embellishments and it can be anything it does not have to be fall and i think i already said that okay okay next step i gotta figure out what i'm putting here we know we're putting this here i still got you zoomed in that's going there for sure I gotta figure out what I'm putting here. I kind of like this, but I don't know. I have to save my big ones. Those cards really screwed me up. They really screwed me up, beautiful things. 
think I might put that there in the back. Let's get these out of the way. If I wanted to, I could even put this up top. But that was the whole point of sewing that down because I'm going to sew this down. And I didn't sew the bottom, as you can see, because I'm going to have to go this way and up. So I think I'm going to put that there. And then put this in the back. I kind of want something there. I have... Let me find it. Let me find it. Okay. Not that. I have scrap here. So we can just stick a piece of scrap there. And if I wanted to, I could put that circle right on that circle right there. And a half circle. The quarter punch. The punch. Quarter punch. I don't know if that's a quarter punch, but put that there. But I just want something underneath it. And these are all my scraps. I'm afraid to zoom in now. So I'm standing here <laughs> so you can see close up but all we're basically going to need and I don't want that on the fold here let's glue them I can't glue them down I want to glue them down so I know where they want them we got to do the scrap one thing at a time Denise but I got these scraps that won't go with it this is just some burlap I didn't like so I colored it so I can use this side we can even put that on the, no, I don't think it'll fit on the flap. It might. Put that up there on the flap. Got this. This is two colors. I don't know what's up with that. It's purple in it. Just needs something there. I don't think any of that's going to work. Here, let's keep looking. There's that wacky flower when I first started crafting beautiful beings. <laughs> I glued, I cut up a bunch of ribbon and I glued it onto a piece, a circle, and I took the sleeve. Yeah, I should really use that up on something. <laughs> but you can do that and it needs something in the middle. But yeah, I made a flower. I just cut up a bunch of, just a bunch of ribbon, glued down the, they used to sell these, leaf. These see-through leaves, these used to sell them at Dollar Tree. I haven't seen them in years since I bought them that long time ago. But this needs a middle. But we could use that on something. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm not seeing anything. The green, maybe. Oh, maybe the scene. I'm going to make a mask because I'm getting everything. If you want to see all my scrap. This is like a deep green. It doesn't really match. This would work. I just put some there. I could put some over there. What else we got? I got some of this fabric. And glue that there. I think the white fabric is the best bet. Got some see-through. I don't think that worked pretty good. I got some little trim. I really want to cover that spot right here. Just like that, maybe he's hiding underneath the fabric. This too. I don't know. Let's see what that looked like there. Doesn't really match. I think I'm gonna use a piece of this. Or is it a smaller piece? Yeah, that. I think I'm just gonna stick that down there. Maybe. Kind of wonky. But it would work. Just put it there. And we'll use that. Let me clean up this mess. Then I'll zoom in and hopefully it don't go blurry. I don't know why it went blurry. It's never done that before. So now I'm kind of paranoid. Just a little paranoid. <laughs> All right. Zoom in. There, that about that much. That flower kind of looks good there, don't it? Or no, I kind of think it's funny looking, but it was like the first flower I made. <laughs> so <laughs> there's that. I have 
of this burlap too. That burlap matches. Well, it matches the flower. So let's glue this down. I mean, you know, save that for something else. So I'm going to glue that down there. I don't want it behind, so I'm going to put it behind. That's probably way too much. Okay, let's put it this way. I'm going to make sure it's not in the fold. It's not. So I'll just glue that there. Get that glue off. Just make sure you can see. <coughs> and how much of this do we need? Well, we'll just use the whole piece. But we're going to put the fray up there. Because I want him to look like he's hiding. Then I'm going to have to cut that cut the fabric to match that. So let's just glue that whole piece down. Make him look like he's hiding behind that. figure out what I'm going to ink or what I'm going to and this I might just glue down like one of these that's the pink one that one oh I wanted to do that like I said beautiful beings I have so much I want to show you I gotta zoom me back up okay so that's going to be about here. So let me figure out where that's going to be. Like right there. So let's know if I find that. Why don't we do some flowers? Would that look corny? I have this stencil of flower. I kind of want to use it. Because there's a lot of leaves going on. So let's try this. But I forgot to get the... I forgot to get the... Ink. Let me put that right there. Then I can put a leaf below it or something. Okay, beautiful beans. I got aged mahogany and squeezed lemonade. And I got my makeup sponges. The light wasn't good in the dining room. <laughs> I grabbed pink. I'll just use the other side. But I'm going to do the lemon first. So this does not take away from it. I'm going to move that out of the way. And I like it right where it's at. I don't think it's on a fold. Nope. So we'll put it down right there. Yeah, I got lots of stuff all over the place, beautiful beings. So don't mind... Don't mind the mess. Zoom it in. And I'm going to take this. Get that nice and yellow in there. And bring some out. Because I just want a little bit of maroon. Too. But I like that. I think. Now we got some stuff from the makeup sponges all over. Okay, that's what that looks like. Kind of needs orange in it. What do you think? I gotta put orange in it. Then I gotta get the brown too for the next one. Okay, beautiful things. I couldn't find where I had it lined up, so I just put it randomly. <laughs> so I'm just going to tap a little bit of orange on here and then just go here and there. I want some in the middle like that because it's not going to land on the same color because, again, I just put it randomly. 
try to get some tips there. It's good enough. <laughs> it's good enough, beautiful beings. Then I have another stamp I wanted to show you. What do do with it? That's the word one. Okay, the leaves are on it. I have an acorn. I haven't used these, so I'm going to put my hand here and you probably can't see them. But I'm going to punch them out. And then it will reveal the acorn. This one's a turkey. And then I have a pumpkin, a face, pumpkin's face. I don't know if you can see them. And I have a pumpkin's face. And then I have a leaf. Right there. I want an acorn on this page. I should have got my puncher out. I'm gonna have to go get it until already. Okay, I got my puncher from Dollar Tree. Just gonna punch those out. And I think I got this from Walmart a long time ago. And it came with numbers too. When they used to sell crafts at my Walmart. I mean, they still do, but it was a huge, huge craft section. And I believe that's where I got this. I got it on clearance. A lot of this stuff I say I got from Walmart. It's old. It's when they clearanced all this stuff out and got rid of the huge craft section. <laughs> so that's basically where they all came from. So I don't even know if you can get this anymore. Let's put acorn like right there. Where's my, that's going there. Nope. It's going there. Maybe we should do two acorns. I don't know, but I'm putting it there. I got rusty hinge. Put that down on that so it don't move. And then I got walnut stain. I distress too. I'm gonna use, I think I better use the other color first. Let's use this color first for the top. I don't know how good this is gonna show up with it being overlapped on the flower, but we're gonna find out, beautiful beings. Should we just leave it? I think we should just leave it. I don't want to overdo it. I like it the way it is. We think beautiful beings. You like it? <laughs> yeah, that's a handy stencil. I'll probably be using it for Thanksgiving and the pumpkin and the pumpkin face and that leaf. Because I didn't use it last year because I ran out of time. Because I had to go into Christmas. And these are kind of wet still. But now I can glue that down basically. Right, I'm going to glue this here. I'm going to keep doing this so it doesn't curl up. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to glue this here. Make sure that's right side up. It is. here just a little glue because I'm going to sew it yeah once you go on a vacation and you go into a casino and you give your, your information 
so you get free slots you get endless supply of supply of flyers and of things trying to coax you into coming back <laughs> I can move that over I'm gonna move it over there there that's good and then of course I'm gonna have to set stuff on it This one, make sure it's not sticking off the, the side. That's good. Just a little bit of glue to hold that down. Okay, and I'll be back. Okay, beautiful beings, it's sewed in. I didn't sew this one in because I might want to sew whatever I put here on the back, like here or something. So I'm waiting on that, but I found some scraps to put on the bottom of it. But I don't know if I'm going to wait. I'll probably wait, but let's take care of this side. Okay, that's what that looks like. I'll sew it in. Okay. And we're going to do the front so we can get this to dry. I'm going to put this here, I'm going to zoom it in, I want this, I found this piece of scrap I want to use, so no, I'm going to have to put it under it, I think, yeah, so let's glue that down first, get rid of mushrooms. We're going to put glue on this and I'm going to try not to put a lot down so it don't seep out that much so I'm just going to squeeze and then drag the glue, okay? I'm just going to set it down and then later on I'll come back and press it down when I think it's tacky. I'm just trying to get the glue off my fingers. And that's going to go like right there. Just make sure it's straight. There we go. Back when that's dry because we can't do nothing until this dries but yeah I'm gonna have to come back because it's kind of bowing up a little bit off in the middle so I'll have to keep checking on that okay all right this is all glued down nicely makes a cute talk I can't hold it with a hand <laughs> okay Several things in there. I want to eventually put something here, like right there, but we're going to do that later. For now, I want to work on this. I'm going to glue these down with Modge Bodge right there because they're nice and flat and it won't interfere with anything being tucked in there. And I want to, this might look funny. But that corner's driving me nuts, and I'm gonna punch it off. There, looks fine. It looks fine. Okay. So let's get these glued down. I'm gonna use my Bodge Matty and just glue them down, beautiful beings. I'm gonna glue down the pumpkin first. Just make sure you get all the edges very, very good, and you won't have to worry about it ever coming up. Okay, beautiful beings? There we go. There we go. 
embellishment. Hey beautiful beings. See in the last video, I cut this part of the napkin out and I'd rather have this here, but I'm thinking I can just use that, some other one, you know, for belly band. But I do want to add something to that. So I made this, I just took some cardboard from a cracker box and painted a bunch of different yellows. Then I have the scrap pieces from this piece, okay, that we cut off the napkin. Okay, so we're going to do that. I have some junk mail here. I already cut detail out okay, of the napkin, like that. Okay, I cut the detail out just so we had a little dimension. Now, move this out of the way so I don't get anything on it. Now we're going to cut this off. Then I'm just gonna glue the whole thing up. Line this up in the corner. Make sure it's all straight across and on the bottom. There. Oh, I need to get it over here now. I don't want to edge. I just moved the whole thing. <laughs> Let's start right here. So it's all the way on the edge. Just line it up there. Okay. Then we cut whatever extra off the corners. Got to tell you that I did the corner bunch, corner punch on both corners on the bottom only. I'm trying not to get my fingers in the glue. If you remember, I glued the whole piece, so there's glue on the painted part. So I'm trying to very carefully not touch that part because I don't want anything sticking to it. There you go. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. I went around this with Tuscan Red, the whole folder, okay? Tuscan Red. I went all the way around. I thought it needed something. It wasn't finished. I didn't go around here, obviously. But I went all the way around with Tuscan Red. On both sides, just a little bit. Just to seal the file, okay? Make it look finished. I went around here too, and all the way up here. Okay. But now, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Okay, we'll zoom in. And I'll try not to bump this. But right here, I'm gonna to set something on this so I don't move. Let's put this on here. Hopefully that don't move. I might have to do the standing up. Because this is where I sit down there where the files off the table. But I have longing for word. But it needs cut down because as you can see, it won't fit the whole thing. Because I have the love lovey <laughs> the loveliest things, okay? So, I'm going to cut this. And I already went around it with a marker, okay? I used the maroon marker. So, I'm going to cut that right there. Just like that. And then I'm just going to do this edge. Stick that there. And continue cutting until all the marking fit the nice pieces I cut with a marker. Let 
going to put this all the way over as far as I can. And these are Tim Holtz words. Then I decided I wanted some color, so I took some raffia that I dyed green and used the glitter glue to put it down. it up and you'll have that up there like that okay it's sideways but it's okay just making sure everything's going down nicely but on this side I'm gonna put something there and down here hey beautiful things I have a little this is from a stamp I did a video on these last year and it's made from a stamp and it's in my playlist stamps okay in case you're interested in making little squirrels if you have a squirrel stamp or any other stamps that you want to make embellishments out of so we're going to glue him down Okay, over here, I'm gonna put an egg corn. Cause he's like, I'm an egg corn. <laughs> and then I have some boxwood leaves that I dried out. I did a video on that. I think it's under, I'm not sure what it's under, but I did a video on these. And the boxwood drying it out. So if you have boxwood, I'm sure you're aware of it if you have it. And this is also a stamp. Think. Oh no, no it's not. This is left over from a piece of scrap paper that I used. Right? And this is a scrap. So that's what that egg corn is from. Then I have a leaf. I'm going to put like right here. And this is just a piece of leaf from our, I showed you. I used them in our one of our videos, I'll put it in the description. We used a lot of them. Maybe my next. Is it this? Yeah. No, when we made the word. I used it when we made the word and I showed you all of them. So if you want to see them, they're from Dollar Tree. Okay. And now, we're going to do our boxwood. I got too much glue on that piece. There we go. I kind of don't like that leaf the way it looks. Put it this way. And then I'm coming out the back. That. Or I put this down and then. I think the fabric's like sucking up the glue. Can okay, go overlap it like that? So it's kind of hid under the leaves, but our squirrel still sees it. Okay. I'm gonna have to set something on that. Okay, beautiful beings. All I did was cut the edges off of the napkin, and I just wrapped that around. Okay. Then we're going to glue it down. And I'm just going to put glue right along here. And it's just going to be an extra little tuck. Don't need that much glue. Just 
straight. And then I have this, scraps. Oh, I'm losing everything to the things. This is a scrap piece of burlap from Dollar Tree. And so is this. Okay. I don't want that over there like that. I had another piece. So let's just do this. I have this other piece. This we can just put along there. Maybe. So let's put these down first. Move it over. Just have that go over that a little bit. Make sure it's down on this part. That's what we're covering up a little bit. Make sure you get the right side of this. Right along the edge. Lift this up just a little bit so that curve gets in our corner and make sure it's on straight. Move it down a little bit. And voila, we have things. You want scrap to hide things. <laughs> And it's finally starting to get tacky leaf. So there's that. Our squirrel eyeballing our nut. And then that. Okay. Using up our scrap fabrics. Right? Now this we have a problem with. I'm turning it sideways. The Mod Bodge did not work. I want to try the Elena's because look. See, it's coming off. <laughs> and I think it's so because it's made out of nylon. Nuts. I tried to look on the package of the tablecloth from Dollar Tree, and it doesn't say what kind of material it is. So I'm just showing you. You can just glue it down with Elena's. But at least we know you cannot use Mod Bodge with that kind of material. And that's a good thing to know. <laughs> I think Elena's will work. If so, we just learned something new for beings. <laughs> so I'm going to let that sit and glue. Then Make I'm sure just going to glue this glue down, down off camera so you don't have to watch me redo it. And I'm going to use the Elena's because we know the Elena's works. So you get all the wet glue. All right, let's go back here. Okay, beautiful beings, found another bag of scrap fabric. <laughs> and I found this piece that fits perfect in there. Right on here. So we're going to put that down. I think I might put it this way. Make sure that's the right way. It's not. It's a good thing I checked. Wasn't the right way, beautiful beings. Perfect. And this seems to match the best. Just a little tuck there. Maybe I should just glue it, sew it in. I might sew that in, but I'm going to put a little glue there. Just a little die cut that we did in a different video. So I think I'm going to glue that down. But I think that will fill in there. And I think it will look better sewed in there that down a little bit. I want that right about there. Just to have a little tuck right there. I thought it would look cute. Right, I'm going to let this dry and this dry before we move on. Okay beautiful beings, I'm going to use one of our leaves. I have this I'd like to put on there. I don't know how much that would stick out of the book. And I have something sitting on that to glue the one down. Let's see. This one has three too. This 
hoping to get one. I have these from last year, left over. I'm thinking I just want one. Because, or two. If I cut that off without making it look funny. I can't find my scissors, of course. <laughs> so let's cut this top one off. Hopefully, it don't look funny. And these two are stuck together. That's all right. Yeah, let's get these out of the way. Make sure you can see what I'm doing here. These are just artificial flowers. I think I got them from Walmart on clearance. Okay. Then it looks like I went around them with Mod Podge a little bit. I usually do that so that stuff don't fall off. Okay. I want this like that. Something like that. But we're going to have to glue down a couple pieces of something to hold it. Okay. So that's why I got this. So let's glue down the leaf first. Make sure I get this correct so it fits on there nicely. We can stick over a little bit on our tag. And Elena's going to hold that nylon down because if you remember, I used Elena. Elena's to glue it to the cardboard. I don't know what I was thinking with the Maj Baj, but at least now we know it won't work with. Mod Podge, the nylon. Am I moving it up too much? You get down there. There we go. Now, this is going to be tricky. Because I don't even know if that's going to, that's not even the right one. I don't know if that's going to even hold that down. But, I'm going to just place it where I want it. I'm just trying to see what I need glue on. I need it on this part. This part. And then on the edges here. And if I have to put other fabric on, I will. I will do other things. I'm going to take the glue and put it on the fabric. I'm just going to put that tightly. Bring it like that. Move it a little bit, but that's okay. And our glue's not going down. I'm going to add another piece of fabric. Let me just put it up there. I'm just going to use this fabric up and put this across here. Just to use it up and just for looks. I'm thinking we might need more fabric. Something else. Where's my napkin? I keep losing everything. <laughs> and I'm trying. That would have looked cute with that in there too. Let's try this one. Let me be more delicate. You're probably thinking, man, she's making a mess. It's... And these don't look as good as the other ones. Cause that one... Let's turn it over this way, maybe. No. That's gonna go in there. So now I need some blonde hair. It's gonna go that way. We'll take our fabric again. Put that back over and down. And then this piece. Sides of blue on that side, so I'm gonna take that and put that there. I'm gonna have to keep checking that, but I like it. I'm 
Now there's not enough glue on this fabric. Ay ay ay. <laughs> That's what that'll look like. That's a cute pocket in itself, but I'm using it for a tuck. Okay, so hopefully this gives you ideas. Right? Because that's a really, really cute pocket for on. I mean, it is bulky. They'd look cute on the front of a journal, but it should be safe in there. I'm hoping it will be because that's really cute. <laughs> and we'll find out. But I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna put touch in it. I'm trying. I'll, I need a clean finger, so I'm just gonna try to push that down tighter. Okay. In. And I'm gonna keep doing that. Okay. So when everything's done drying, I'll be back. Okay, beautiful beings. I got these last year from Joann's. They're leaf buttons and you get a pumpkin. And they're from Favorite Findings, big bag of buttons. 2.75 ounce. And it's value autumn mix. Okay. Just want to show you what you get. You get different colors of each. I want to use the pumpkin because we haven't used the pumpkin yet. I think I might want to leave it too. I will do that. No yellow. No. We'll do yellow because there's yellow up there. Get the pumpkin in that. I'm starting to keep stuff. When I store it <laughs> so I know where I got it and I can show you okay and I have this burlap and I just wrapped it around I doubled it and then wrapped it around then we're going to put some buttons on here okay I just put it through the pumpkin once and positioned it or abouts I wanted it on the burlap and then I got the other leaf and did the same thing only need to go through once because we doubled up the burlap okay and then I go through the tag through the front and then position them where I want them and then I go through the back of the tag and then I just tie it after I get them where I want them Then I check them to make sure they're tight and tie another knot. And then we can have this come down in between, maybe. I don't know, something like that. Okay. Okay, so this is done. And that's what it's going to look like sideways. Okay. It's going to be glued up here, but I want to get this fabric. Right here and I want to put a strip of it right along here like that let's move that out of the way and I want it to fold over and I want it all the way down okay so let's cut how much I need I'm gonna cut it about there straight across that wasn't very straight <laughs> and I'm gonna have to cut this again because it's too big I just want that measurement and it's good so I'm gonna flip that over I'm gonna check this side we don't need much so about there and then check this and maybe right there and luckily there's a line and I'm gonna sew mine on and if you don't have a sewing machine you can hand sew it it doesn't take that long that's what I did before I got a sewing machine and if you don't have needle and thread or a sewing machine 
you can just glue it on. But I'm going to have to fray this. Because I want the fray look. And I'm setting the big pieces of fray when I do the long piece aside. And then we can use them on a flower or behind something besides something for an embellishment. And this is going to go. And you can't glue this. Just use a little bit, tiny bit of line as you want a thick glue. So, and I want this to stand up. So it's going to go cover that line right here. It's going to be there. Here, I'll just glue it down and show you. All you need is a tiny bit of Elena's, okay? Because it's a nice thick glue. Okay? Just want to undo tab. So I'm going to put that there. Like that. It doesn't seem long enough now, but it's alright. I'm going to make sure it's straight. Get the glue, extra glue off. I just pulled it because the fray, I was trying to pull that fray off. And let that dry. Okay, I'm going to make sure it's straight. And pull it in a little bit. And then just flip it over. Hopefully that don't move on me because I'm trying to show you. You set that there. And then you take this. And you glue it here, but you leave a gap, okay? So it sticks up a little bit right in here. See how I'm not pulling it tight like that? I'm leaving a gap, okay? And let me put the glue down. Hopefully this dries quickly. Put it right up here on the edge. Make sure it's straight and even. And that's how you cover your tabs. So you can cover your tabs with words or you can cover your tabs with whatever you want basically. But I use I usually use fabric. If you don't have fabric, you can use words. You can even use stencils. <laughs> you can come up with something, beautiful beings. Okay. Use your imagination, right? But I'm gonna let that sit, because because I want it to glue down, and then I'm gonna sew it down. We gotta put our tab, our tag on. So we're bring the tag in. I gotta keep turning that pumpkin. I'll do it after I glue it down, because it's probably just gonna move again. All I'm going to do, and let's put that in the front. That's a fray. Let's take the glue, put it up here a little bit. That's all you need. You don't need a lot, but you need enough. And then I'm going to position it. We'll have a nice little tuck okay when these are dry we'll do the back and then we're done okay beautiful beings i have a stencil i really don't like it but i'm going to try it it's of a tree and it's backwards okay it's a reverse stencil you'll see after i stencil it down but i'm going to try it and our tag is on the other side so just keep that in mind that's why that's lifted out Hopefully this turns out good and I don't have to cover it up with something else because I really don't want to. See, I don't like it. So I'm going to take this. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't tell you what I distressed. Oxide rusty hinge is what I used there. And I'm going to take distressed 
ink walnut stain and fill in tree. Okay. And I got this from Dollar Tree. I think it's a makeup brush. <laughs> I'm not really sure. I don't know if it's going to work. I should have waited until the other ink was dry. This is wet. So let me do that. I'm going to wait for that to dry. But I do have this stencil too. I don't like that at all. I shouldn't have done it. I have this stencil. And I don't want the edges on it. And this is the reverse stencil too. When I first started out crafting, I just bought cheapest stuff I could and <laughs> that's how I got stuck with this reverse stencil beautiful beings that looks better not much but it does look better <laughs> it does look better and this makeup brush is really great for putting things on lightly like if you just want a shadow it's really good for that it's filling in a tree I think that's dry it's not even dry enough. But I'm gonna to try to continue these ones. Up. Okay. I'm gonna make them really big, huge trees. <laughs> All the way up. I know it doesn't look very good, but it is what it is. If I would have thought about it, I would have just done this all the way across like this and then just made them taller. That looks like a hot mess. <laughs> it does. I wonder if I could just glue something down. I don't know. Hide it. I don't even know where to begin. Not this. No, this. Something like this. I decided to go with this so I just take two pieces of this mesh see-through mesh it's for fall it's got leaves and stuff on it and then I put them together and make sure the same length and then I use my art glitter glue to glue them down and the art glitter glue does dry quickly I just need to set something on them to get it started. Then I decided to look through my scrap again and I'm deciding on what to use and I end up getting orange see-through mesh and I use that beautiful beings. Okay we'll get this done eventually. <laughs> I want to use this, but I think it's too thin. Well, that might work. Just put it across here to blend everything in, maybe. Let's see. Let's see. This piece, that's too thick. That's too thick. I don't have any of the other lace in here. I just look for scraps, but it doesn't seem like I'm gonna find any. This. What if I cut that in half and did that? Let's do that. Okay, I got this. Book. And it has all these six by six paper pack yearning for life. I got it on LI Express yearning for life. This is six by six paper. Okay, and you get two each, 24 designs. And we're going to use I used where's that? I have another paper ready for you shown you this before but I'm totally missing the paper seriously 
Alright, anyway, I took this paper out of that book. Maybe I used the last one. But I took this paper out of this book and glued it to a Ritz box. Then I took a skeleton or die cut scrap, whatever you want to call it, and I glued it down. Okay? I'm going to zoom in. And I, I still need to make bows. But I made one bow. I'm pretty good at them. But I made one. There's a bow. <laughs> and we're going to glue that there. I forgot what side I want. This side. So I'm going to take just a little bit of glue. I'm just going to stick that bow right there. Just like that. Okay. And I'm going to come up with two other with different material. Let me wash my hands. Okay, as you can see, you can't really tell that's a vase. I mean, you can, but you can't. So I'm taking this one, white one. <laughs> I'm trying to get this video done, beautiful things. It's so long. If you enjoy the long videos, let me know. Sometimes it can't be helped. Unless they make a part two. But lately, I know they've been long. I just figure... I get them out of the way and just do the whole video instead of making part one and part two. Of course, we're going to have a part two, maybe three, because we still got to do the pocket files that we cut for the inside. Make sure it's pushed up enough. The bottom, it fits in there nicely. And this is glued on a piece of junk mail, this material, because I just stuck them on top of each other and then cut the die cuts out. So I glue them together so they're more stronger for pockets. If you want that. And I got this leaf, pop orange. Or should I say branch? This tree branch. Plus the paper that I used for the die cut to put on top of the junk mill. It was from Dollar Tree, so it was really thin. So I had to make it thicker. That's why I used the junk mill and glued it to an underneath. I'm gonna turn this. So I'll take the glue off. Make sure it's placed in correctly. And there we go. Okay. Now, I gotta come up with something. Put two more bows or just string. Like a knot string, it's like a glove too. Hey, beautiful beans. I have this. This is why I keep these strings. <laughs> when they're this long, I will keep them. What we're gonna do is try. See, it's doing it up already. I'm gonna try to tie a knot at the bottom. Push them through. Every piece to come through. Every piece right there is one. There we go. I'm going to put that there. I'm just going to do it there. And then, how are we going to do this one? Okay, let's double it. And just tie a knot. Maybe. on it. It's not in the middle. Maybe one more knot. I can have this one just hanging down like that. Okay? Easy peasy. <laughs> I think I'm going to put this one on the other side because it's flatter. Stick that there. I should just put the glue down here. I'm getting glue all over my fingers again. And this one is hanging down like that. Okay. 
right. Easy peasy. Okay, this is going here. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> I was so worried it didn't go low enough. And I'm just going to glue this down. And then check these. Make sure they're going down good. I should have moved that over. That's still bothering me. It's okay. Probably could. But let's get this glued down. I'm going to glue this corner and this corner. Okay. And I'm going to use lots of glue because this pocket is bigger, but I'm going to try to stay away from the edge so it doesn't ooze out. Okay. Oh, I thought I screwed it up. I did screw it. No, I didn't. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself, beautiful things. And there is on the other side of this that one so I'm gonna open this up now it slid all over the place I just don't want it on the fold now the glue's oozing out all right that's good right there see that wood that's a little close to the bend but it's fine and I'm gonna set that there and I'm gonna set something in the middle and then that bow and I'm gonna glue down nicely and then I'm gonna fix this I'm gonna pull it over and then hold it because it should be over more I think So it glues down and I still got to figure out what I'm putting on here I have no idea you know what I have a flower in here and seeing that's the front Let's see if I can get it with one hand there's a flower in here and I don't know the name of this so if you do please put it in the comments dry flower I love it you could just glue that there if I can cut that stem off that would look really cute right there I think but I need to find out what flowers those are so I can grow them <laughs> and then have them the box wood I'm good with because my daughter grows that she has that unless she killed it I don't know hopefully she didn't but because <laughs> she had them on the porch and I told her she needed to take the, the vase or the pot inside is that gonna be too wonky I love that I don't know if they'll tear off, but we're going to put lots and lots of glue on there so it don't. So whoever gets it, takes care of it, and stores it properly, properly, so it doesn't break off. I'm just going to, where's the bend? Right there, so that's good. And make sure, remember, that's the cover, so we're good, okay? I love that there. I think that looks cute. Just that. Right there. Oh, and I did sew that down. I probably forgot to mention that. And I did sew this down. <laughs> okay. I should just end the video here and show you in the next video because it's so long. But I won't. I'll wait and show you close up and then I'll start the next video. Okay. Okay, beautiful beings. I'm going to give you a close up. And I have this little pocket card <laughs> tuck in the pockets and show you okay see that makes a nice little tuck right there I love that flower my daughter Kara gave that to me and that was the only one she found because she used to do crafts she's got four kids so she doesn't really have time to free much free time let alone craft I appreciate her giving me things. That's the opening. Our squirrel. And all the other beautiful prints. There's a lot going on, I know. I know there's a lot going on. And they're longing for the loveliest things. 
What do you think of that pocket mouth, Binks? I'm thinking about making them and selling them. I think they're awesome looking. <laughs> and the stitching over here on our material, our fabric. And these did glue down nicely with the Elena's. No problems at all. And our big Thanksgiving napkin pocket. And then we use the scrap up. This ain't gonna fit in here. I mean, it's too big, but I'll show you in here. There you go. They'll, they'll hold lots of pockets. And then the back. A big, huge scrap die cut pocket. And I did put some orange see-through mesh in that corner just to blend everything in and here's the back the other side of our fabric on a tab and then our lace up here and then our mess in here <laughs> I think it looks better it looks more like trees with that mesh on it but I wanted to show you I didn't glue the sides so if they want to stick something inside of there That'll work too. <laughs> Just saying. But you should stick something that has a tab on it so you can pull it out easier. Okay, beautiful beings. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful everything.